It's a different sort of education, taking young people on a journey via horseback. That's right. KTVU's Frank Malico shows us the valuable lessons children are learning at Mill Valley's Miwok Equestrian Center in this edition of Cool School. Tucked away in the North Face Tennessee Valley amongst the coastal fog and all its wildlife sits 17 acres of equestrian paradise. They're just really magical creatures. I love them. Seven-year-old Cooper Housen is one of 14 campers at Mill Valley's Miwok Equestrian Center, a one-week camp of summer fun where young wranglers learn the ropes from saddling up to riding these majestic animals. Lower your hands, even lower. Lower still, there you go. Running the stables is new owner Allison Friedman. There you go, good. She bought me what last December fulfilling a lifelong dream. Wow, all right, that's Emma's very first trot. Does it ever get old, the beauty of this valley? It doesn't. That's, I mean, Tennessee Valley is gorgeous no matter what, you know, whether it's the fog rolling in or it's just clear skies, which happens every now and again. We may have some sunshine today. We might. <laughs> Let's see some posting, Ava. This is a writing camp, but so much more. It provides kids a chance to take a breath away from our digital world and appreciate the great outdoors, not to mention making a bond that will last long after they leave the stables. Part of why horses are so wonderful for children and adults, all humans really, is that they help teach us about patience and empathy and the golden rule and all the things that can be challenging to learn from other people. Animals teach us so innately. They're very interesting to learn about and they have like really cool like bodies. How much fun are you guys having? Like, I don't know. A million out of ten. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can you guys imagine being anywhere else? No. <laughs> no. Besides just at home watching dumb shows on my iPad, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good point by you. It's kind of nice to get off yeah. that stuff, yeah. right? It doesn't take long to get attached. I can vouch for that. But it is expensive. A one-week camp costs nearly $1,000. That's where former Miwok owner Linda Rubio has stepped in. She teamed up with the Marin Horse Council awarding scholarships to those in need. This week, nine-year-olds Dontre Shannon and Leo Jamerson enjoyed their first ever rides. Tell us about your horse here. Uh, that's Candy. She is a girl and she is really fast. They're free to just have some fun and to learn how to ride and, and to learn how to make this big animal that weighs a thousand pounds. Listen to them in a quiet way. Horse day! Oh, there's time for a little horse play, too. With 42 horses at Miwok, you got to keep it light. Can you name all your horses? I can, yeah. Go. <laughs> all 42 of them, really? Okay, so Dreamer, Milo, Babe, Princeton, Godiva, Amigo, Trucky. Candy. Piper. Ladybug. Bilbo Baggins. Jordan, Tiki, Opera. Roscoe. Now, can you do it without looking? <laughs> no. Mixing fun with a little horse sense. That's why Miwok is one very cool camp. Frank Malico, KTVU. Oh, he is a biter. Fox 2 News. That's not grass. <laughs>